Uh, we Hyundai i10, so brake pipes are a bit corroded there. I'll need to clean and assess that. I might be able to paint it. That one, same again. It's probably done, but I might be able to just clean it now. You see they're going there as well. It's probably up here as well. It's covered kind of dirt, so I'll need to get a better look at it. Um, this ball joint, I'm successful playing that ball joint. Uh, the discs are a bit swollen with rust, and that's all pitted there. One drive shaft nut. That's the bar. Ten bar on the gun. Still no move. I know what the fact they've done to it. I cannot get that to turn, man. I've tried heating it. I've tried everything. I have no idea how I'm going to get that off now, man. Uh, I'm going to try and cut through this nut. That's it. I'll change the whole hub. <laughs> uh, you can see the drive shaft's been looking for a while. I cannot get that to turn, man. <sighs> okay, dog. Right, so the bar for the truck on the smallest car in the world to remove the smallest drive shaft in the world. So it's got ATF in it, so somebody's had the, the drive shaft out before. I know it's had a new nut, and I know these have had a drive shaft nut recall, same as the Kia's. So the black ones were in silver when they came out of the factory. So. It's either been changed for that, I don't know why they would have had the drive shaft off, other than that. These rings are prone for going, you can see that, it's got a wee bend in it there as well, so... And that's been scraping off something, so... I'm surprised it's not got any ABS faults, to be honest with you, so what happens is, is this ring here, underneath there, it swells and it splits. So, and if you hang on a second, I'll show you. Right, and that's, uh, that's one there, I believe that's for Picanto. Uh, I'm a good customer, Johnson. He's left that there for when he needs it. <laughs> Just, he had an ABS fault, so we'll go back and have a look at the car and see what that's been scraping on. So you can see how shiny that one is. So uh, the first time I came across these uh, kind of CV joints was in the dealer. Um, uh, you can see it's a bit rusty in there, so I need to get that a good old clean up. You can see the disc here, disc millard. So that's the other slide there that's seized. So this ball joint as well on the suspension arm. Really naked. That's where all the baggings been in the car. So now what we need to do because and this is like I said the first time I came across this was in the dealer and uh, the laddie uh, Greg, big Greg's given man now, call him a laddie. Uh, he's this drive shaft, this CV joint must not need to come, must not come off. He says you need to get a shaft. I says out the road, I'll get it off. I did get it off. Eh? Once I get it off, I realised, yep, you need a shaft. So, but the way to do the, the boots is, is we need to take this coupling off, right? Take that off, take the boot off, take the bearings, take the big pin out, eh, big circle clip out, take that off, slide that off that way, slide this weight off that way, take that boot off that way, put a new boot on that way. So it's a bit of a pain because this doesn't have any joint. Eh, you can't buy a joint kit for it or anything like that, so there's no way of replacing it. And I've put it in the bin now, but we had a, a Renault McGann one the other day, we had to cut through it. Um, they sell you a joint, but they don't tell you. Mm, really, it should be getting a shaft, so... I know you kind of get a, a CV joint kit for this, so... I knew what I was up against. I wasn't expecting to have to fight that drive shaft, but... <laughs> so... Yeah, I knew I shouldn't need a bar like that on it, you see that. Uh, put something on it to cool the metal to shrink it as well. And eventually it just let go. So, once it let go with a big bar, yeah, it's just tucked on the bottom, eh? but it's just seized on solid, so there you go, we'll crack on, see if we can get this changed. Hey, right, so you see it, we're left with one shaft, one CV joint, uh, that's the inner boot, that's the one that's burst, so that's the one that's burst, that's the weight, underneath there is your circlet and your universal joint, so I need to clean all of that up, get the new boot, and it isn't a, it isn't a, a like for like boot, I could not get a boot for this, what they'd sent me was Initially, was one that one's been cut, right? But they sent me one that had been split. That's one I was doing the other day. Um, so they sent me one that had been split, and that's the way. They said, "Ah, oh, that's the only one you can get for it." I says, "No, nah, no, nah, there must be." And he says, "No, nah, we're just gonna get you a universal one." Then, so he says, "Right, get me a universal one." 
so we'll just cut it to the right size. So, but aye, funny games. These Kia Hyundai shafts always is. They're prone for the nuts season. They're prone for the nuts stripping. The amount of times I've seen in a dealer, the laddie, I can't get this nut on. I had one guy one time. He's like, I, I tried to clean it up. Yeah, using the nut for the other side. So rather than destroy one drive shaft, he destroyed two. So <laughs> what can you do? Okay, so you see the bit. You see that's been trimmed. And there's the remains of it there under the grease. So we need to put some grease into that coupling. Put that coupling back on. Put some new clamps on that side. And clamp up that weight, and we should be good to go. Right, so we've got the dry shaft to put back in. Um, we've cracked that bleed nipple, cracked that bleed nipple as well, just to make sure we can. We don't need to put cylinders on it. Um, when we started cleaning this brake pipe, you can see it just burst. There is some lube on there, but that did burst on me. Um, so we're just changing them now. So they're rotting there as well, right? And they're the original brake pipes. So we're going to elect to change them right back to here. So there's no point in messing about. It's, it's rotting there, right? We could cut them up real somewhere, but it's rotting there, so no point. Right? So I would imagine rotting there and we're rotting somewhere else as well. So we know that one's rotten. The front, not too bad. Obviously, you can see that's had ATF in it, so it's not meant to have ATF in it. I'll not do any different, not do any harm. To be honest with you, if it came into the dealership um, and the customer was complaining of poor gear changes, that's what I would like to do. That would be my first protocol: change the gearbox oil and change it to ATF. Now, either 50/50 or just all ATF. Won't do any damage to it. Um, BMW, I think, used ATF back in the gearboxes back in the day, so we we'll get the pads and this as well to do. Um, but we'll need to crack on these big pipes. Right, so we've done the rear pipes on the Hyundai i10. Can't get any fluid for the rear nipple. Bled the driver's side, can't get nothing to come out of this side, so uh, it's all choked with rust. So hopefully we can recover it. Right, that's better. So and I've blown it out as well, I know fluid should come through there now. So, fingers crossed. Right, obviously we've seen that uh, bleed nipple there was no end of grief, right? So, no end of grief. I do have a pressure on there. Um, so, I have something on the brake pedal. You can see the brake lights are on. So, I've got a, a depressor holding the pedal down. Uh, and I will clean all of this. These are one piece all the way back to there. So there's no joins or anything like that. So and that's how they were for the factory, and that's how I've did it. I've did loads of Picantos and loads of Hyundai's to be honest with you. So I knew how they were. Um, I've just liked to change them. Some people may cut and chop because the rest of it was okay to be honest with you. It's all coated. It's just the bits that weren't coated, but ah, there's no point as well as just changing them. So I've changed them, um, and so I've changed them. I've got that drive shaft all built up. And ready to put back in new clamp. I kind of get in to fit the weight, so just had the cable tie it back on. Uh, new clamp on the uh, new boot and a new clamp on the outer CV. I'll maybe see if we can find a nut for that because uh, that was solid. Oh, look at the bar, Jesus. So, brake clean up, pump it up time. So, get all this I could spray. Oh, that a good spray. I've already checked. Uh, obviously, I've been pressing the pedal. So, I'll pause here, I'll give us a clean and we'll recheck it. Right, so I just need to tighten those wheels up. I don't see no drips. I don't see no drips there. The car cable tie. Right, so just the brakes and the suspension arm, which is lying over there anyway. So, I had everything here for it. I just kind of got a drive shaft out, man. So, I'm not sure, I've never had to <laughs> cut one off, so you would have had to cut that nut. And then, well, tried not to damage it, but we managed to get it, so. Right, nearly there, nearly there. Okay, so P's and D's all greased up, and I put a new hub nut on there. That's the pinch bolt, right? We had no end of grief getting that off, no end of grief getting that off. To be honest with you, everything's been no end of grief on it. Cleaned and painted that brake pipe, some zinc. Same with the other side, still got the pads and dust to do on this side and uh, still need to top up the brake fluid and the gearbox oil. So, nearly there. 